Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn all about the Kishon, a very nimble, intelligent, and resourceful breed that is sometimes dubbed the Smiling Dutchman. We've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video. Dog Breed History The Kisan is a lifelong native of Holland who became the emblem of the Patriot Party in the 18th century. The dog's kindness and loyalty indicate that he was always meant to be a pet rather than a hunting buddy. Initially, they served the Dutch barges as a working guard and companion. Many Kieshunden could be seen living on the barges and farms in Holland where their owners relied on them to manage the vermin population and offer devoted companionship. For this reason, they're also known as the Dutch Barge Dog. And it is under this name that they were first presented in the UK in 1923. Kees de Gieselaar, the head of the Dutch Patriots Party in the 18th century, is the inspiration for the name of the Kieshund, a breed of dog closely related to the German wolf Spitz and the Pomeranian. Like the Samoyed, Spitz, and Norwegian Elkhound, the ancestry of the original Kieshund may be traced back to the Arctic. Today, the Kieshund continues to be considered a faithful home companion and an enthusiastic people dog. Appearance the Kieshund is a friendly, medium-sized spitz dog with an abundant coat and a foxy appearance thanks to his trademark spectacles. Male Kieshunds average 18 inches in height and females average 17 inches at maturity. Ideal weight ranges from 36 to 40 pounds. Kieshunden have a foxy face, sharp ears, a profuse coat, and a plumed tail that is held high over the back, making them seem spitzy. The eye contours of a Kies are subtly shaded and marked to create the appearance of high-end eyewear. The glasses highlight the wearer's sharp, perceptive features. Like other Spitz breeds, such as Pomeranians and Samoyeds, these square, hardy pets trace their ancestry back to an old lineage. Temperament Due to their high intelligence and trainability, Kieshunds are an excellent choice for those who have never had a dog. They're sometimes dubbed the Smiling Dutchman, owing to their attractive, bright-eyed, joyful countenance. They're nevertheless eager to let their owners know when danger is afoot. They are alert, happy, and characterized as impudent by those who know the breed well. Let's just say Kieshunden are canine communicators since they both bark and speak. Kieshunds are are predisposed to be watchful by nature and seldom need any formal training in this capacity. Throughout history, their dwellings have ranged from spacious farms to cramped vessels. Indeed, they benefit from regular physical activity and enjoy spending time with their family. However, Kisons are generally friendly and won't bite if you let them inside your house. The Kison has an outgoing personality and gets along well with humans and other canines. They need a lot of attention and love and don't like being left alone too much. Socialization the Kisund is a lively and perceptive dog that makes a great companion for a busy family with older kids or teens. Because they tend to bark, they're probably not the best choice for a household with infants or toddlers who require quiet to nap. It's a common misconception that all dogs are naturally friendly to kids. Still, in the real sense, both dogs and kids require proper socialization and training to live safely and happily together. However, dogs and small children should should never be left alone, and all interactions between the two should be supervised by an adult. Keep an eye on your dog's recall skills since most Spitz breeds find it more enjoyable to vanish on the search for anything petite and hairy than to return immediately. As we mentioned, they build intimate ties with their humans and equally get along well with youngsters, other pets, and strangers. The Kieshund's background as a dog who would make do in cramped quarters on tiny barges means that it does well in any home whether a studio or a mansion. Grooming 
Kison is an all-weather dog thanks to its thick coat, which protects them from the elements. Kison didn't require regular care. However, brushing their coats once a week with a pin brush typically suffices. Although this breed is not highly heat-resistant, you should never shave your Kison in the summer. The bulky coat insulates against warm conditions, which may seem paradoxical. Furthermore, shaving Kisons might make them more prone to sunburn or skin cancer. The Kisons' thick standoff, the rough coat is profuse and can be time-consuming to maintain in excellent condition. Daily brushing will keep tangles at bay and prevent the coat from becoming unmanageable and a significant task. Bathing will most likely be uncommon, but anticipated to be a lengthy procedure to wash and dry this dog completely. Trimming is only required around the feet, pads, and hocks. Pet owners can brush their dogs regularly and take them to the groomer every four to six weeks for a wash and blow dry, or they can do it themselves. Brushing your dog's teeth and checking their ears weekly is vital for all breeds. Using a soft cotton pad, remove any debris from their ears and avoid cotton swabs, which can damage the a delicate inner ear. Introducing a puppy to a professional grooming salon may be a good idea early on. If this becomes essential, you can leave the task to the specialists. Exercise Kisons have a low energy level and do not need a lot of room since they were bred to work as barge dogs. This goes to say that the breed doesn't need too much canine exercise. Still, he or she will undoubtedly benefit from daily exercise. If you want to keep your Kison happy and healthy, you should take it for many daily walks or one more extended, more active walk. They'll feel better physically and psychologically after a daily run or stroll in the park and will be more than happy to join you on the couch while you read or watch TV. Agility sports, puzzles, and indoor games are fantastic ways to engage your dog's mind and body. Training the fact that keys can be easily trained is a little-known fact. They are pretty trainable and eager to please their trainers. However, you must remain active lest they get bored. It's important to remember that these canines were developed to live with barge operators and should always be close to their owners. For this reason, puppy training and early socialization are two things experts advocate. Basic obedience training for this breed may begin as early as eight weeks of age. While at it, remember that the breed responds well to approaches and emphasizing positive reinforcement. This is because the key to successfully training a Kison is to make the dog feel it was its idea to perform what you asked. Because of their social nature, Kisons do not perform well when left alone. They may resort to destructive behavior if they feel bored or lonely. Diet and Nutrition the Kison requires a rich diet in all major food categories and a steady, clean water supply. They thrive on high-quality dog food, whether commercially made or home-prepared, with your veterinarian supervision and consent. Kison also requires a fish-based, low-carbohydrate diet like other northern breeds. Feed your dog following the weight guidelines provided by the dog food manufacturer. In average, Kison should be fed one to two cups of high-quality dog food daily. The exact amount should be based Based on your dog's age, activity level, and weight. Bear in mind that overfeeding may develop health issues such as canine obesity, heart disease, or diabetes. Treats may be essential to training, but feeding too much might induce obesity. Keep an eye on his calorie intake and weight since certain canines are predisposed to becoming overweight. If you're unclear about how much to feed your keys hunt, your veterinarian may help you design a balanced diet plan. Health. Overall, the Kison is a very robust breed that lives between 12 and 15 years. Notwithstanding, like other purebred dogs, they are predisposed to a few illnesses that run in the family. Some such illnesses you may have to look out for are luxating patella, a condition whereby the kneecap keeps shifting in and out of its usual position. It is pretty common in toy breeds. Although it may cause a great deal of suffering, with the proper treatment, many dogs can live long and happy lives despite it. Hip dysplasia is yet another. It is a genetic disorder caused by a deformity in your dog's hip joints. Some symptoms include lameness, weakness, or discomfort in the hips. 
Cataracts in dogs may cause foggy or fuzzy vision, but even advanced instances can be corrected with surgery. Furthermore, similar to how cataracts affect older people, cataracts are also a common condition among senior canines. This breed is also predisposed to developing epilepsy and a hormonal disorder known as primary hyperparathyroidism. Since these disorders were eliminated from the breed via screening by responsible breeders, most keys are now healthy. However, all canines used for breeding should undergo genetic testing for all these diseases. Are you a Keyshawn parent? Do well to share your experience in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.